Okay, so we're going to have a final look at the room. Uh, not the room tour I wanted to do, but yeah, we're going to have a, a quick browse round one final time. So my chair broke, so I've been using a beanbag for now. Uh, there's no point replacing it as to what's going to happen. So we've got our kind of standy, mostly Assassin's Creed setup. Um, kind of pop wall across the top there. DS collection. A few board games I've been playing. Bits to sort out, pickups. This is obviously the, the scratch post I've been working on and the selection of games that I've got to uh, to scratch off. Some miscellaneous bits. We have some odd figures, um, guide books, uh, cheat books, all that kind of stuff I need to sort out. Uh, Game Boy games, PC games, a few plushes. Then we've got, so obviously where you come in, a few posters, all this stuff behind the door has got to go. It's all duplicates, stuff to sort out. I was going to do a uh, a market. I don't know if that's going to happen now. Um, I might just get, get rid for space. So on the side of the TV, the figurines. Obviously a bit of a setup. Got the uh, Xbox X, the Xbox Series X, the Xbox 360. The Dreamcast is down there, but not set up. And PS3 and 4. And then obviously the other side, the other figurines. Just going to be a, a quick overview and uh, flash around the room. Nothing too in depth. Yeah, all pogs and stuff I'm sorting out. Then we've got binders of trading cards and what have you then all the the magazines novels books all gaming related psp collection it's too deep guide books and general books that need sorting out quick view around the the top of the room various collector's editions there's trump and we've got our a marble glass cabinet a few figurines in because all the way down you can't see it this is the problem there's so much stuff in there I need to sort it out and a few of the the bigger collectors boxes uh, kind of in the backdrop and obviously collector statues and stuff random minifigs that they've got to go um, my makeshift table which is the rock band box it's just too big to put anywhere the other glass cabinet, we've got our uh, pit boy kind of section, dishonored section, miscellaneous section, just random bits, coins and what have you from collect editions. Yeah, I've got a bit of glare in because of the TV. Um, the Halo clicks, and obviously the Master Chief collect edition, a few pops and what have you on there. Then we've got what is our kind of PlayStation Billy. So a few collectibles up top, collector's editions, they're random some 360. And then we've got obviously our PS1, a couple of shelves, couple deep. PS2, again, uh, I think there's three shelves here. Our PS3, which is two deep, and the PS4, nice little collection there. Then we have our full, not going to be able to get around here very well, full billet of original Xbox. So that's all too deep. Yeah, not many to go now on that collection for the full set. More collector's editions in the corner there. A few uh, 360 collector's controllers, four different ones. Then we have our 360 set. These are too deep. We've got two billies of 360. It's coming along quite nicely. Um, obviously on the bottom there, a few more collector's editions. And then the back is an absolute state. This is just where I store stuff. So we've got the two Takus there. Some games I need to sort out, I need to get manuals for, so they're not in the wall yet. Uh, these are all the demo discs and stuff for PS2 and original Xbox. My Atari ST, a spare connect. Some figurines, some more collector's editions down here, it's going to be a bit dark. <coughs> it's 
excuse me a few extra spare controllers the dreamcast which is now hidden down here so obviously this is going to be in a different place that's too deep as well and we've got the xbox one collection which is three shelves a little mini figs as well fallout and just bethesda kind of series the rest of the 360 and i'm gonna have to move back around the front so yeah we have our kind of lord of the rings shrine shelf as well as a, a movie shelf with various buckets and things for movies that'll probably be going we have the wii u the gamecube and the switch all on one shelf just don't have many the rest of the switch they're just my switch the rest of the switch games that obviously belong to the missus are downstairs the wii which is on two shelves then we've got some umds a little bond collection and blu-rays all to the straight down to the bottom and our last shelf because those two shelves were just movie based but we've uh, thinned it down a bit so we've got our matrix shelf there our steel box oh 4k and then our steel box and then just some random dvds all need sorting out and our little lego section down here it's all lord of the rings and the hobbit some more uh, collector's bits and what have you down there and then this side as you can see more collector's boxes pops that need sorting so yeah and obviously this unit which is full of um console boxes and what have you just extra boxes collector's editions stored away so another view from this side yep this is all going so uh, yeah quick view quick run round more for me just to uh, remember what was here so hope you enjoyed the quick run round and maybe we'll see you soon